we just put in a, a Verato pressure wire and we'll just show you how to uh, go through the steps of putting the pressure wire in. It's very straightforward. So what we'll do is bring the wire into the proximal vessel. Uh, we'll take out the introducer needle uh, and then we'll normalize the pressure so we have normalized aortic and sensor pressure before we start. So that's in the proximal vessel. So at this point, we'll just gently bring the introduced needle back. And can we just check that uh, we're going to be on sync vision? Yeah. Rosanna? So we just, what we're going to set up. So the great thing about the uh, Verato wire is that we can use it with sync vision, um, which is a, a method of looking at the particularly the pullback of IFR to understand where the step ups are. Yeah, it looks normalized. So we've just normalized there. Um, Johanga's now going to push the wire. Are you normalizing now? Sorry. Just, just do that again, Rosanna. Let's just normalize that again, Rosanna. Just Have we given any GTN? Uh, not yet. Okay. We'll do that as. Yeah. So. Okay, PA cranial please. Advance the wire distally. Maybe maybe hold off for a second so we can, yeah. So as predicted, it gets a little bit caught up in the stent structure. Yeah. But we're just advancing our way through the area of interest now. Thank you. We could maybe put up a tiny bit of fluid. Mm -hmm. Ventricular function is good. Fantastic. So that's a nice distal wire position. So, guys, would you mind just putting up a uh, right. fluid? Yeah. 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 Well. yeah, we'll store that. So you can see we've got a huge separation between uh, the PA and PD pressure, and the PDA PA ratio is uh, 0.6. Um, this suggests we're in a very ischemic uh, spot of the LAD based on the um, on that reading. But we will do an IFR when you're ready. Just do an IFR. IFR. We need to take a picture with the yeah. wire down, won't we? I'll do it before the pullback. Oh, we did? Uh, no, I'll do it before the pullback. Yeah. yeah. So we're ready for a, a pullback. But what we'll do is to set the sync vision system up, we'll just take a, an angiogram with the wire down so it knows where we are. The guide, yeah, that's lovely. Follow us down. That's, good, uh, that's fine. Good. Perfect. So now, when we do, uh, we just let that, that flush out the system because the contrast will affect the IFR and the FFR. We don't need to do FFR here because the IFR is clearly highly significant. Can we just have a flush, Sam, on the um, just to flush out the contrast? We'll just get back to our steady state. And then when you're ready, in a couple of minutes, we'll do a, a pullback. Sam, we need to 15, change the 15 uh, FPS. Great. OK. So we change the fluoroscopy to 15 frames per second, which is necessary for the system to pick up the pullback of the wire. And there you see, you see it jumping up. A big jump up there, which actually is a little bit more proximal to the stenosis. But it's probably right on that severe lesion. And then there's no significant gradient more proximally. We're just coming back to the proximal vessel now. 
Great. We can just do a, a drift check there, and it's exactly one. So we're very happy with that. Great. So now that screen, I've got a joystick down here that you can't see me moving, but I'm just moving it out here, and I'm just going to click on the um, on that button, and that will give bring up uh, the Sync Vision co-registration. Now, so, so this is a really nice illustration of, uh, of the use of this system. So all these yellow dots at this point suggest this is where the maximum benefit or the maximum delta gain we can get. So I can actually measure here, and I can scroll up starting to cover that sort of area. So if we treat this uh, vessel over a 24 millimeter length, we'll get a delta gain of 0.49, which is obviously enormous, and we'll bring our IFR up to 0.87 from its uh, existing level. So clearly, that's the area we're going to target. We know angiographically that's the where the severe lesion is, but we've demonstrated quite nicely physiologically that there's also uh, reason to treat. So should we take a balloon first? <laughs> 